Okay, it's time to get through all this. I have actually already done all this. It's just doing post commentary for this. This took a little bit of practice to get the hang of, but now that I've done it, it's really not that bad, honestly. And some of these challenges I actually like, so that shows how different it is from when I was actually doing this, so. But anyway, this first attempt here isn't actually going to be platinum, but it's just basically a comparison of how much learning I had to do. There's a lot of, like, getting stuff at the same time with both characters. I'd also recommend having shortcuts set up to get through this quicker. Uh, but basically on this level, I started with the hardest first and went down to the easiest because I thought that was going to work out a lot better. Just because then I'd know what stuff I would actually be able to do. But we want to take out the Water Wraith basically immediately. We could keep it alive, but it's going to definitely get in the way of whatever's carrying stuff and whatever's... Whenever we're just moving around, basically. But we really want to get that bomb rock out of that, um... That dirt mount, which we only need one Pikmin to go get that, so that makes it pretty easy to go get. Let's please take this out. Come on, please. If we can freeze it, that's really good, because that way we can just beat it up for the rest of its health. There we go. So now, we want to get this bag down. And get down the onion itself. Because that's what we want to do just as soon as possible, basically. It takes a long time for it to walk, so we really want to get it moving. Because if we don't get it down now and get it moving, it's going to take too long, basically. For Platinum. Let's get Ochi to carry that back. Which means is the reason why I recommended getting rid of the Water Wraith. Because if it knocks, Ochi is going to not be helpful at all. But anyway, now we want to take out this bomb rock. We want to toss out this wall here so we can get through it faster. And just completely ignore the enemies on the other path. Because they're going to be annoying. Uh, now the thing that I was experimenting with was going through this pipe here. To try and go through the other side as quickly as possible. We can't really do this. And it's not what we want to do for getting platinum, so. But I thought it might be a good idea to try and take out these enemies earlier, just so they wouldn't be a problem. At the very least, maybe the worm here that I just killed, but anything beyond that definitely doesn't need to be done. Because I, I thought maybe taking out this this gate from this side might help, but we can do that from the other side. And Ochi's already there, so there's basically a lot more wasted time by coming down this path. That's okay, but this is just the first attempt. Also, with, with knowing what to do in this level, and all these levels, it, it makes it a lot better to get through. Also, that was <laughs> nice. But, um... Yeah. Even my, like, my actual attempts that succeeded for getting Platinum aren't that good. I could do a lot better now, basically. At this point, I've actually played the game 100% three times. I could have played it four times, probably, if I was not gonna stop my addiction to this game, basically. I love this game. <laughs> Just have to say that. We really need to get that thing, though. Ah, uh, now, I'm not gonna pull that thing out of the way. We're gonna kill these, and if we use Purple Pikmin, they die pretty quickly. Which, I don't even think I did that on my actual success, so... But then we need to get rid of this gate, as quickly as possible. And then the Snow Beetle thing, whatever it is actually called, would be the thing to deal with next. And the Snowballs will really get in the way, trying to get the Onion back. But that's okay, because we don't need to worry about that on this one, but it is a bit of a problem. Which we need to take out as quickly as possible before Ochi gets slowed down. But even if you, if it slows down Ochi, you'll still succeed, basically. But anyway, this should be enough for gold. Just like that. Very nice. But let's see how we actually do with this. This is the success attempt. So, let's toss those up there just to have give Ochi a little bit more. Let's automatically walk over there. Switch back. Man, shortcuts are so helpful, but I didn't use them at all. i call those now. Have the other ones work on that. If it can freeze this enemy, it dies instantly, which is nice. Which is why it gives us ice pickman at all. I switched between these captains here, and I really messed that up somehow. There we go. That's gonna break instantly. Get one of those to work on that, and we'll get the rest into purple pickman. 
We swap back, get these Pikmin, and then we're gonna automatically walk to there. Just to regroup with the rest of the Pikmin. There are purple Pikmin that come out of that room there, so it'd be good to actually call those now. Like that. And then we can take out the Water Wreath. Which had arrived. Get him in a second. There's also nectar in those mushrooms there if we really needed it. But there's also nectar just around that I'm not going to grab, probably. Just because it might help. But, yeah, we don't need it, probably. The only point I think it would really help is with taking out the... Oh, please. With taking out... No, what are we talking about? With taking down the onion off of the ledge, probably. But there we go, there's that. Let's call a Pikmin. Let's get going, because we need to move. It's easier to actually hit, get the Pikmin on top of this uh, bag if we're on top of Ochi as well, which is important to note. I missed that. It's okay, we'll get them in a second, because we don't have enough Pikmin without them. There we go. Time for the swap around. And we definitely won't be going through the tunnel this time, so... Let's get you onto that. Could have been a little bit faster with this, but it's fine. It's crazy what multiple uh, completed files does for your knowledge on the game. <laughs> Basically. Let's get that. And now we're going to take out the blowhogs a lot faster. And which means we'll get through this with enough time to actually get everything. Just like this. Don't worry about the ice yet. Good. Okay, fire. If we can freeze it, that'd be nice, but I don't think it's gonna happen. No, we got it. Nice. Cool. Very good. Uh, Ochi should probably be right behind us. We probably don't want to spend too much time here. Yeah, Ochi's caught up with us, which is why it's beneficial to just go for these blowhogs right away. Instead of going through the pipe. I really should be using my purple Pikmin here, but I didn't for some reason. Lost a few, that's okay. Now we need to get rid of this gate. Which, if we had Ochi maybe break it, that might be good. But also, I think it's just worth waiting. Overall, even after playing this a few times and doing... Completing it, basically. It's still just worth waiting instead of getting Ochi to do it. Just so you can get Ochi to wait there for a second, because we need to take out this beetle. Come on. Please, 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 please. I don't think I'm going to kill it in time. Nope. So we're going to have to go get Ochi in a second here. We're also going to need all the Pikmin for this bag. Don't even need the, um, the, what's it called? The candy pop bud. We just need to get the Pikmin up there. And I've left a few behind because they got gotten the thing. So let me get this fixed up. Purple Pikmin, please get over here. I'd also recommend Idler's Alert on the, the shortcuts. Just so you can call them quickly. Come on. Ochi's still walking, so we can just take our time on this, probably. Good enough. And there we go. This was a pretty terrible attempt, but I somehow got it, so... And only just, as well. It's at 15 seconds, but it just barely gets in, so... Practice makes perfect. It, or something. You, you'll get there. Just believe in yourself, or something. But there we go, now we can move on to the next challenge. Working our way down the hole. No one wants to talk to you, go away, please. I'm pretty sure he just says the same thing anyway. So next up is... Turf tur Turmoil. Which is defeating a whole bunch of bosses, which is pretty alright. This one can be a little bit challenging though, so... Also, I cut out a few fail attempts, but it really, honestly, these challenges didn't actually take me that long. Honestly. After getting the uh, purple key, everything else was pretty smooth. Except for one, which was probably the worst one, I think. Even worse than the purple key. <laughs> and you might know which one it is, maybe, unless you got really lucky. Let me try and take these things out. Because we have our uh, other rocks work on the boss on their own. But if we can get rid of these things, that'd be good at the same time. I could also do- I've done a lot better on this attempt by having Ochi do his own stuff with the other Pikmin, probably. Dirt mount excavation completed. That's for a... 
uh, a spicy spray. So I should go get that. I definitely would recommend splitting the, the group for this level. And I don't know why it took me so long to get to this point. Oh my goodness, getting squashed. I did so terrible with some of these attempts and I somehow still got it. I don't understand. But anyway. Something else I'd probably like to talk about is when to do this. On your first attempt, I'd only recommend it where I'm doing it here. But on a second playthrough, I'd recommend it after getting the Pluck Whistle, which requires all of the equipment unlocks. So, you are basically only be doing this before the end of the game, uh, from the last area of the game, basically. I'd also highly recommend, um, on a first playthrough and any second, any, any second playthrough, doing Olimar's, um, Shipwreck Tail before the end of the game, basically. Just as soon as possible, do it. It's worthwhile. That's my official recommendation. Olimar's Shipwreck Tail as soon as possible. Second playthrough, do, uh, this Trials, uh, from the last area with the Pluck Whistle, because being able to call your boot Pikmin with the Pluck Whistle is a necessity, I'd say. It probably doesn't save, like, a ton of time, but it's just worth it, honestly, so I can just do that. And not have to spend a little bit of time waiting. Anyway, let's use our purples for this thing here, because I'm pretty sure purples are the best things against Snagrits. Otherwise, you'll probably be losing a lot more Pikmin. There we go, get that. And then we're gonna go for this one, which I could really... I think this one before... The other one does make a little bit of sense, but you could go out of the way, probably. Let's slam into you with that. That should be probably good enough. Not quite, okay. I don't know what I messed up, actually. But it's fine. Oh, that worked really well as well. I probably shouldn't have slammed into it, actually. I think actually just throwing the purple pipkin worked better. But I'll probably still recommend doing both. That way. Okay, last one. Let's just get it out of the ground and let's pull this thing out and this will probably take two loops of this phase or this fight whatever it is but if we can do as much as possible in this first run please maybe it's still good so let's call it one out get it to move because that's how it things comes out again pull it out and then we should be about done Very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. Come on, so close now. Let me just hit it. Please. There we go. Just got it. <laughs> Could have done that level a little bit better as well, but it was pretty good overall. It was decent enough. <laughs> there we go. Next level. Definitely don't want to talk to the- definitely don't want to talk to the Sage Leaf. Crowded Kitchen. I actually like this one. Like, I- like, genuinely, I like this one. So, I believe we want to take out these pots straight away. That's definitely how I'd recommend doing this. And then immediately going for Purple Pikmin, basically, is how I'd recommend doing this. Doesn't matter if you need your whites for something, just get Purple Pikmin. Because it makes cleaning up this side of the map a lot easier. And with Ochi, we're going to try and get these other things back quickly, at the same time. And then Purple Pikmin, we'll get you to carry that, and you to carry that. And then we'll get two of them to carry back this thing, and then that's basically this entire side of the map cleared out. What I'd recommend doing next is actually getting rid of the paper bag, but I didn't do it on this attempt, so. But that's what I'd recommend, because it makes getting around the map easier as well. Also means we can get more Pikmin and also... Yeah, just a lot more things back quick, faster. Okay. You also don't need the, what's it called, for this. The thing from getting Louis and doing all of his thing. To carry, um, it allows you to carry stuff back, which, you, which is helpful. And I did use that for these attempts. But you don't need it. You definitely don't need it. Grab all this. These mushrooms can be a little bit annoying. I'd actually re recommend getting Ochi to carry that thing back, that sprout. But I, yeah, again, I learned a lot on multiple playthroughs, so. 
I'm so addicted to this game. I want to play it again <laughs> for my fourth time. I need to just stop playing the game. And, and th it's time to stop holding the clock and all that. I hate how those automatically go into that, but it's fine. Getting Oji to carry that back these things would probably be more worth it than getting purples to do it. But it's it doesn't matter. Just as long as we get it back at this point, we should be good. We're actually pretty close to doing it really efficiently. But if I... I could have been a little bit more efficient with Ochi, so... It's actually weird seeing this these attempts again, because... I really could have done a lot better, and I, I know that so much now. Start carrying this stuff back. Also, I should have been using the... The Idler's Alert. For any extras that I have laying around to start working on these piles. I think we're getting kind of very close in this attempt, but... I somehow managed to get it. I think the cutoff is at 1 minute 15 seconds, so... We should be able to get it. How's the other pile going? I think it's done. We just need to get this pile back, which is easier said than done. Come on, come on, come on. Now the other pile is... Is probably done now. No, it isn't. 15 seconds. Okay, that's good. It's probably a minute then. Cutting it very close. Come on. Okay, we got that, and that's everything. Cool. Five, four, three, two, one. Barely got it. Also, one time that I played the stage, I called my Pikmin by accident, and they didn't stop what they were doing, but it was just enough to lose the Platinum. I mean, it's fine, I just had to do it again. And got it immediately, because that's, that's why I like this one. It's just pretty... It just works, basically. Very nice. Don't want to talk to you, go away. <laughs> that's how I feel about the Sage Leaf. I don't even know, want to know who the Sage Leaf is, but anyway. One fell jump. This one is interesting. It's kind of luck based, I would say, but also it's kind of a right. We just need to throw our Pikmin, purple Pikmin out. Just basically extend in the middle of them and call them back, which can be a little bit difficult. Because sometimes they just won't throw. And I don't understand why that is, but you have to kind of switch whatever's active so that the game knows that they're active. But we just want to get Ochi to do whatever he's doing, or whatever he can, and just work our way through as much as possible. I'd actually recommend throwing your purple Pikmin slowly, because then they'll have be more spaced out and get more creatures. I did really terrible in this attempt as well. But this one took me so long. I don't even want to talk about it. But yeah, this one took me the longest, I think, out of all of the challenges. Got it. And now I don't think it's that bad either, but it's still, it's hit or miss basically whether or not I'll get through it, but I'll probably get through it again. Considering I've done it three times now, I should be fine. Overall, these challenges aren't that bad if you know how to do them. <laughs> it's weird. Because when I was doing them the first time, I was so, like, I was so stressed basically. Gimmick Gambit, another one that I really like. This one is like super simple. There's like... I me mean, you can mess it up, probably, if you don't know what to do, but once you know what to do, it's really not that bad. And you, I will still mess up on this a little bit. It's very forgiving, this one. You need to throw one Pikmin over there, five to begin with, so that's just an important distinction. We can actually call the Pikmin down from up there from there. Uh, but now we need to get these golf balls back. And I also probably should have uh, moved the base immediately. Because that's what I always forget every time I play this level, is get the base moved. Got rid of that uh, ice thing there, which is good because it will be a problem. Let's get the rest of that. I forgot to move the base. This is gonna st they're going to go in the wrong direction for a little bit, but even with that mistake, I still got this, so... No, don't go that way. This way. Because Oshi managed to get back before them, which is a little bit sad, but that's okay. There we go. Let's wait for the gate to go down before we can progress. That's just how it is. Now to blow up this thing. Like, as long as you're going quick and use the stuff that's there, it's really not that bad. I, I messed up the first bit, but then the rest is fine, basically. I got it. We only need one Pikmin to also go onto the button here, so let's just throw one. And we'll just swap this when we need to. Now. 
And now. I'm surprised that actually worked. Just perfectly. Anyway. Like, yeah, this one's really good. I like this one. There's such a contrast to with my last my my first attempts at these. Reach the save re sleep. But I'm fine. I'm awake. I promise. And we go, and that's half of them done. It only took 20 minutes to get through the hardest ones. Well, how long is it going to take me to get through the rest? What what did I do? I don't know. I think the white key took me a little bit of time, but not a huge amount. So, white jewel. Let's get first get these two things here. And we really want to take out that uh, cannon beetle because it really, really messes up some Pikmin. So, let's get that back. I should probably have actually swapped those Pikmin around. Just so I could get the rock Pikmin to take out the cannon beetle. Let's get that with the wing Pikmin because that'll probably be fine. Getting the whites to get this one back is dangerous, especially immediately with the cannon beetle there. Let's get these ones. I'd basically recommend getting the, this area down here done as soon as possible. But also then dealing with the cannon beetle because that will kill your Pikmin carrying back these balls, so. Also, they take that shortcut there with the winged Pikmin, so you need to keep that in mind. Especially for the white jewel. The onion. Let's get some more Pikmin back so we can deal with all this. But anyway, let's get these mushrooms, which we don't really need to deal with, but it's fine. We'll just get rid of them anyway. I think they do get in the way. Interesting choice there. I should have actually swapped those around. Get the white to carry it back. I think I might. There we go. Because I really want the winged Pikmin here to get this green six ball. So let's try and get that down. We need to watch them a little bit because they will try to fight the thing instead of grabbing the, the what's it called, the ball. I don't know why that is. I think they just had some trouble with that, quite possibly. Oh no, that was actually the whites down there getting bolded. So we're gonna have to fix that up. Please stop that. We need you to carry this thing back, please. It is a little bit annoying, but they have to wait for the ball to drop before they can actually see it as an object, basically. Uh, hopefully they're gonna be fine. Let's go get this thing. And now we need to clear up this entire side, because the Pikmin will not be able to survive without us. Come on. Please attack Ochi, thank you. Ochi's bites are way more powerful than the Pikmin, so we're gonna try and get those working on something else in the meantime. While I deal with this on my own. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Okay, and now I'm gonna get these wing Pikmin to get this back. I still haven't got that bulb going. Uh, I'll get that in a second. We'll get this thing first, which is another ball up there. And that, there we go. I think that's all of them now. We can really start moving now. Oh, and that one, right. Let's get that. Let's go get our Pikmin. And then we'll be able to go get the white jewel. How does that not have what it needs? Anyway, it's fine. Let's get those. And let's get to the roundup point. If I can. Why am I moving this? What am I doing? Oh boy, it's fine. Just get Pikmin onto it. Oh my goodness, it went over the wall. I guess that works. Let me just get one more to that, please. There we go. Oh boy, he just roll, walks along the edge. Okay, round up point. Is right over here, so we can get to the jewel and start digging it up. Also, I think I can get the captain to actually call Pikmin as well if I wanted to. Probably should do that. I could have used a command to do that, but anyway. It's fine. We basically have time as long as these things are still going back to the un uh, the base anyway, so let's call these and let them get that. And then we need to distract this thing while the white onion is moving, basically. And then if we can get winged Pikmin onto it, that will be even better because they can take the shortcut. I'm really messing this up. I could have done a lot better on this. Oh, they really just died. Uh, it's fine. I'll call my Pikmin over. 
I really could have done a lot better than this. This shows that these are very possible. They take some practice, but they're very possible if you have a route to follow. Okay, that's all the jewels, so the gate will be down now. We need to get one more Pikmin onto that or something. Oh no, a lot more onto that. There we go. But now it's moving. Let's take this thing down a little bit. We need to just distract it mostly. If you have the... what's it called? The spicy spray. Now it's probably the time to use it. Either just to fight this melon thing. Or just to get your Pikmin to carry back the onion faster. Actually, no. I forget how this works. This thing drops a spicy spray. <laughs> so if we can get that, that'd be good. But you wouldn't want to get it any earlier than this, I don't think. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Please, thank you. We're a bit low on time here. But maybe we can chomp away at its health. I don't think stunning it's going to be enough. Maybe, there we go. Okay, spicy spray. Got it. And then we need to get... The winged Pikmin, please. Me. Hello, me. Get the- oh no, they've, they've gone past it. I think this is actually an attempt that didn't get platinum. Because you really need the winged Pikmin on that. To get it back in time. Yeah, that's a shame. But that's not the bad for a first- or whatever attempt this is, at that. It didn't take me that many attempts, but it did take me- like three, I think. So. Okay, here we go. I definitely still struggle with this one, so. Nothing wrong with that. Again, I should have gone with rock pigment so I could, well, the different pigment so I could actually get other things. But we can also jump down this way to have a much better time advantage for this. And we can hold these back and get the other one. Let's get that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Come on. There we go. Got the wing pigment to carry that back. Just because I think, uh, because I think they're going to have more time for it. And they're also not going to get crushed. So that's going to make things work out better for us. Um, send Ochi back to base. So we can get the pigment that were up there. Let's get you whites, white pigments onto that. We'll get this down now. So they can carry back that efficiently. Oh, they didn't actually get distracted. That's nice. Get the rock pickman over there. Try and distract the... Ugh. We can actually use the captain in that arena to try and distract... Oh my goodness. To try and distract the enemy. Also, I should really be using Ochi to get rid of the... What's it called there? But I'm not for some reason. But yeah, we can use the captain to distract the, the elephant thing. Yeah. Okay, nice. We'll get these onto that so they'll get the thing. We could even get Ochi to start digging one of these up and maybe start moving it. Just a little bit. Not a lot. Don't kill me. Thank you. Good. Ah, uh, the white Pikmin may have gone too far. Yeah, I think I just heard them die to the thing. I should really have used Ochi to get rid of that thing, shouldn't I? This is why. Because that thing is just gets in the way. Let me get rid of it now. With my rock pigment. Come on. I've moved it around now, so it won't really be as bad. There we go. And the rock pigment can't get crushed, which is good. Why I've chosen them for this. You can also get that orb up there as well. I really don't I don't have enough pigment now. That's okay. Let's get this done, please. Come on. Okay, they're on that. We call you. They're fine. <laughs> Don't call them back. Ah, uh, but we need to figure out the other ball now, which I, I think I forgot about, probably. I might be able to call some Pikmin down for that. Okay, let's go. Get things. <laughs> I just realized the thing was there. It's interesting watching this from this perspective. Jump down. The gate is down, which is helpful as well. Because if you get the gate down, which is on the other side of this area here, that's what the button does at the top of the stick. 
uh, then the other Pikmin also won't get crushed by the thing as well, so... There's a whole bunch of things to consider when doing this level. Now, I think I'm gonna go for this now, like I would normally. And then I'm gonna pull my Pikmin over to the arena. Get a few more on that, good. I think that's enough probably to get it moving. So now, let's call it over here. Nope, call them over here maybe. After I start attacking it, distracting it. Or well, possibly I'm, I'm, I might be waiting for... Nope, there we go. We need those down here, so... Move that. Okay. Probably gonna take my time finding this thing. The gauge is down. Idle's alert, maybe. That didn't work at all. Oh my goodness. Let's not kill my Pikmin. Knock you over. The thing about this thing is it gets in the way and will get pushed by the white onion, which is a little bit annoying. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. There it goes. Oh, Pikmin close to the edge. I don't like it. Oh, there they go. <laughs> I really couldn't do much there, though. It's hit or miss on whether or not that happens, I find. Sometimes you're fine, but sometimes they just get... The, sometimes this thing just gets pushed too close to the edge. Oh my goodness, those rock Pikmin. Oh, so sad. Let's take this out, please, 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 please. Got it. Okay, spicy spray. We need the spicy spray. I can't get through. I'm stuck. Get through. Get through, brew. Okay, we got it. Okay, spicy spray. We need a wing Pikmin to get this thing back. Because that is the only way it's going to really work. I think I'm pretty close to them. Yeah, they're right there. But I don't know if I'm going to catch them. No, I, they would definitely be more efficient if I get them here. Winged Pikmin, please. Because they'll just do that and they'll drop the white Pikmin off. Because it's flying. And I think that's good enough. Got a few more winged Pikmin to get on there. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. What's the, what's the limit? I can't remember. We did pretty well on that, so there we go. I mean, I could, again, I could have had a few things go a bit smoother. But there we go. Now for the last four, four floors. Got the hard stuff out of the way. Go away, don't want to talk to you. <laughs> I really just don't care about him. Dandori sees. This one's interesting. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go for it. Um, I've definitely had some trouble with this one before. Even in more recent attempts. Also, I'm just gonna take a moment here. I had to stop to do some uh, something else, so... Looks pretty good. I did attempt with uh, multiplayer to see if that worked better. For the one fell jump level. By the by, Olimar, is there anything you remember from right before you- but right before and after you becoming a leafling? Any additional e details? No. Not particularly. It didn't feel bad or anything like that. In fact, it was quite revitalizing. My chronically stiff shoulders and all the injuries I'd sustained during my explorations healed immediately. That's interesting. Hmm, perhaps leafification has highly restorative effects. This is definitely so something worth looking into. <laughs> You're not planning any new exp experiments, are you now, Yoni? And because I had to take a break, it's time for day 55. More recent profiles have done it a lot faster. Anyway. Something else I want to quickly show is the shortcuts because it's really helpful. I've set the left stick click to switch, which I don't know why that's not on by default, but basically it means we can click the left stick on the control to switch instantly. We could set this to a D-pad button, but I prefer it on left stick, so it makes it so much easier to just swap at any time. And it's going to probably make the last few floors a lot easier as well. Maybe, just a little bit. Anyway, let's jump back in. And Dory sees. Collect all the treasure and then get to the sage leaf. I think this only took me two attempts, so. Let's start off with this thing. 
Basically, we want to get the Pikmin as soon as possible so we can do more with them. We could also call them from behind that wall, and they'll start working on that themselves as well. And this boss is a little bit annoying. We don't have to kill it, though, is, is something interesting. Let's get all these. There's a few fruits on the side that we can go after, but I need more Pikmin for that. Let's get these cherries. This is actually interesting seeing this again, because I think this is actually a better route than the more recent playthroughs that I've had. Okay, let's get that. We also don't need to collect that, we just need treasure. So let's get this thing, which I think if I had Ochi, wherever I put Ochi, I should probably get him to get that, so... Oh, hello. There you are. Gotta swap this around. Get that, please. That's definitely what I'd recommend for that, is just doing that with Ochi. Since it's right at the start of the level as well. Let's get you. And now we can start doing some real stuff. We could break down that wall, or we could possibly just go around it and try and create a shortcut immediately. I'm not sure. I don't know what I did for this, but I think every other playthrough after this one, I've broken the wall for some reason, which I probably shouldn't have actually now that I'm looking at this. Hindsight is an interesting teacher. Or something. Let's try and beat this thing up. Come on, it's not going to be enough. I think the winged pick will be a lot better for fighting this. They're actually kind of insane when fighting those things. Let's push this because it's got some blue Pikmin underneath it. And there should be some blue Pikmin up here, so let's get them. Just more Pikmin, the faster it goes, basically. And then we'll start moving these things. Even if we haven't got the boss done, we can probably still deal with that. Just gonna call these Pikmin up because they can do a lot on their own while I get these ones. And we try and take out the boss. As long as I can distract it. Also, why are they drowning? Oh boy. Please, why? Apparently I'm not gonna go save them. I'm not sure if that was all of them or if that was just one. I'm very concerned now. I don't know what I did on this attempt to make that go so bad. Or why I forgot about them, apparently. Did they go around, or did they go into the water? I don't know. Something went wrong, is all I need to know. Okay, we've got an extra spicy spray. Let's use that and get this other stuff back quickly. Of course, it just barely doesn't have enough, but there's also another treasure here anyway. Let's get that. Go! Oh, and there's still stuff over there. Um... I'm not sure how to feel about this, but I think it should be alright. As long as I'm quick, it should be alright. We can get Ochi to carry back the grapes, I think. And can more Pikmin over as well. Also, I think there's actually some Pikmin in the foliage over by where the star fruit is. Whatever that's actually called, I don't know. I don't need that, don't carry that, please. But there's more Pikmin in the foliage there that I could have called to go get that immediately. Because there's five there and that's all you need for the star fruit. Is all I need to know. Apparently I'm just gonna get Pikmin to carry that back. There's a lot of things I would do differently now. That that leaf thing in the corner there. There's got some Pikmin inside. That's why it's shaking. To tell you that they're in there. Oh well. Hindsight, am I right? Like this is such an interesting attempt because I didn't break down this gate. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? <laughs> they're fine. They didn't even get noticed by the thing, so. Uh, but now, I think that's everything. If I play Pikmin 4 a fourth time, 100% for some reason, which I probably will, knowing me, I'm definitely going to not break down those, those walls, and I'm definitely going to try and get all the Pikmin as soon as possible, and actually remember them this time, next time, whenever that is. Come on, we're so close. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Got it. That was so close. <laughs> I don't even know. I could have done better on that, though. Based on the things that I talked about. I could have done so much better. I'll just have to play Pikmin 4 again for YouTube, and then you'll see. You'll, you'll see. You'll be, you'll be my fourth playthrough, but it's, it's worth it.
Anyway, dig deep. Yeah, this is a shame. A real shame. There are so many attempts where that probably would have happened, but... Not that many overall. Just a few sad times where I'm so close. But anyway... Again, we probably want to get Pikmin as soon as possible. We also want to take out enemies as soon as possible. Let's get all these Pikmin. Take out this thing. Go, 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 go. Just gonna bash it up with my own fist. Grab those. Hello. We need to get three gold... Well, hit this gold beetle three times to get three treasures. Get the rest. Go, 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 please. Going a little bit slower. But it's okay. Okay, now. Um, there's a few things across this water, so we might want to freeze it. Let's get you to dig that up. And then you will get you to dig this thing up. Which I don't remember how many this needs, but I guess it's five, probably. It might be a star fruit or something. Let's get this. Beat it up. Probably not going to be enough, though. Oh, no, it is. Wow, that was a good fight. I feel like I've had a lot more trouble with that in recent playthroughs. Uh, we could also call all the Pikmin up on this ledge to actually get stuff done for us, but I'm just going to send Ochi, apparently. That's fine. I just could have done things slightly better, as I've learned a lot by watching this. I'm going to throw a few more Pikmin up there just in case I need them. Although, Ochi could probably do some of on stuff on his own. Uh, but we need to take out this enemy still, and we need to get across that water as soon as possible. For those ducks. We've got to freeze the water though, because it's going to make life a lot better. Oh my goodness. So close. Also need to start digging into this tunnel, so let me throw a few people on that. Come on. I should really switch to see how things are going, because I have not done anything with this. Three on that, seven on that, which is fine. Uh, and now we can go regroup and get everything else. There's also something buried here that I should probably help up, help out with. Uh, but we can swim across here, which will make getting these uh, ice pigment a lot easier. Which will make it possible to actually free this, freeze this water. We just need one more. Because at some point I split up with that one. Uh, probably with the the hole that, or the dirt mound that I dug up. There we go. Let's get these. Ten for that one, which I'll just get Ochi to dig up. Uh, we really need to get that tunnel going. There's a few extra Pikmin I have lying around, so... Let's get them working on that. Because we need all of our Pikmin for that. And then as soon as it gets off the ledge, we're going to get Ochi to carry it back. Because I think Ochi is slightly faster than the Pikmin. I might be wrong about that, but I, that's just what I've done each time because I feel like it's worked out better. Let's dig this hole. It takes a little bit of time to dig up the hole, so that's why I'm trying to get it done as soon as possible. Oh, it's done. Okay. We can also use um, our captain to carry back the cherry if we need to. You're stuck down there. Why did you get stuck down there? It's fine. Need the rest of our Pikmin as well. If I can get Ochi to carry that back while I'm man managing this Pikmin, that would probably be ideal. I don't know why I'm not, so <laughs> it's fine. I'm sure past me knows what he's done. Okay, let's get them on that. 55 out of 50, probably. Gotta carry this back. No. No, what am I doing? Apparently I did it very differently to what I thought, because usually I just get Ochi to do it on his own, but I guess... This might be fine? Oh, I forgot some Ice Pikmin. I should probably should have called that, them back earlier to get some more stuff done. But this is fine, so... That actually might want to be one of my best attempts. Possibly. I don't know. But there we go. Clear. <laughs> There's so much I can improve on in all of my playthroughs. If only I could just be good at every... <laughs> if only I could just keep what I've learned. Need to play it a fourth time just to perfect it. Anyway, go away. We've only got two more left. Next up is Snow Problem. It's no problem, except it is a problem. This one I find is pretty hit or miss to clear, but there are definitely good ways to do it and bad ways to do it, so. And I think this is probably going to be a good way to do it, possibly. Maybe. It's really hard to tell because it, yeah. I need to really know what I'm doing, which I don't, so. 
Let's get rid of one of these, because we only need to get rid of one of those. Get rid of that, get that pile back. Get yeah, Ochi just destroy the other thing. Light the fire. If we can light a lot of fires as soon as possible as well, that'd be good. Which, to do that, I actually probably recommend making sure you actually pick up extra burning cones from each thing that you visit. I haven't done this, I don't think at all, possibly. Or maybe the last time I played this particular challenge, maybe I did. But just picking up extra fire cones is good. Because we can pick up as many as we need, basically. Because each one spawns a new one in. Each place to get one. Okay, good. Might just break this Ochi because it's that close to death. Or destruction, whatever it is. You can tell when the ice gates are close to being broken. And you can just destroy with Ochi. Have one extra red Pikmin, which I might be able to do something with, but maybe not. So I don't know what I'm doing there. I think I was just pressing the wrong uh, buttons, but it's okay. Still getting used to the shortcuts. At this point, I, I definitely use them all the time now, though. Get rid of that. This gate is another gate that we could break down pretty quickly. Please just crush that. Break that. We don't have fire, though, so we're gonna have to go back for that. And my Pikmin are freezing. Did I call it the. the did, I, did they die? Or something? I didn't. I wasn't paying enough attention, apparently. In the past or future, or present, wherever it is. <laughs> what, what, what what time am I in? Okay, let's take this thing out, please. We can also cause more Pikmin from over here. Definitely worthwhile. Freeze you. Good. Very good. I've definitely struggled with that more than in this attempt. I'm gonna get those. I'm surprised I haven't gotten that, done that, the other two rooms I haven't done yet. We need to take out this enemy, though. Get rid of you. Please. And we call any extra Pikmin that we can to do with the rest of this. Oh, come on. It's just rude. Bring it down. Chew it to pieces or something. Okay. Now we need to get another one of those so I can burn this thing down. Uh, but we can also use it to get rid of this ice thing because it breaks the ice instantly. But it also breaks the fire cone, so... Let's get that back. We just have one more room left to do, which I probably should have done earlier than this because it's the furthest room away. But it's probably alright, so let's get that. And that, get that. We haven't lit the fire in here, but it might be fine. I, I guess so. <laughs> Don't even need it. <laughs> Past me was just that good that I don't even understand. <laughs> now, so. Let's start working on this because we'll need it built as fast as possible. I don't think we can work on it ourselves though, so. With our captain, which would be funny. Okay, last pieces. Gonna trade that back and forth. And... There we go. That was a pretty good attempt, wow. <laughs> Past me was a beast. And I don't even know it. And he didn't know either, so... We're both, uh, we're both surprised here. Me and Past me are like best mates or something. Sometimes. It depends on how much extra work he leaves me, which is a lot. Last level. Bullblaxes. <laughs> How crazy is that? And we don't need to worry about getting anything back. But this only took me like two attempts, I think. This is the second attempt. Just need to kill all this stuff and get rid of this thing. I'm gonna want that bomb rock. I'd recommend using the bomb rock for the... Uh, ball bears. You don't have to, but you... I definitely w would. You might also need to use Ochi for that a little bit. Gonna use Ochi to break down that gate. And then I'd actually recommend getting the fire... ball... ball ball thing over there. Before getting the Ice Pikmin. I don't know what I was doing on this attempt. I did really bad. Because I went right into this fight over here, I think. Possibly. Losing some Pikmin. I should've got Ochi to work on that first. Before, instead of doing this thing here that I'm doing. I actually think I was probably just trying to get around it and it didn't work, so... Get it, Ochi! Good enough. Cool. 
I did terrible on these on this first playthrough. <laughs> it's fine. Ah, uh, now let's get these ice pigment to work on these mushrooms here, where we get rid of the fire thing. This is this is my backup plan if I use my or oh, if I get the ice pigment too early. Let's get that. It's gonna be a little bit of a trickier fight because of when I'm doing it, but that's okay. It actually might be a little bit easy with Ochi, so that's actually probably pretty good. But there we go. Let's jump on this mushroom. Maybe. After it's spawned in though. Grab these. And we wanna just like get this thing over here, if we can. This is something you can do in a few places in the game with different types of enemies and elements. But we can actually get it to stand over by this fire thing. Which will actually make it possible for the rest of our Pikmin to attack it. Which is good, so let's start getting rid of that. Go, 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 go. Freeze. And... There we go. Okay, last two enemies. Let's just go ahead and dash through that one. Hitting the other one. Get the last few Pikmin, and let's beat it up. Just like that. And that is all of the challenges platinumed for the Trials of the Sage Leaf. So there we go. Not too terrible, but it was a little bit of work to get to the ha like to getting to this point where I know how to do it now and I and can replicate that. But anyway, unfortunately, there's not really any special reward for doing that. <laughs> That's basically it. We just get to look at it and it looks cool. We do get more Pikmin from getting extra onions, but we only get one I think per visit, so of each type. But anyway. Come back whenever you want more training. Nope, I'm good. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye forever. But there we go. Feels pretty good. It also feels really good on this on this screen when you do all of them in one go. And get platinum. Ooh, I expect an apology from you, Dingo. And you better make it good. Fair enough. No surprise, he's still hung he's still angry. Not hungry, angry. I messed up. I'm sorry. I never should have run away and abandoned you out there after the crash. What are you talking about? I'm talking about my pizza. Is it time for you to apologize for eating my pizza without asking? He's got his priorities in order. Huh? You're mad about pizza? This is what I get for being sincere. <laughs> but there we go. Day 56, but that is it for now. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time for the last cleanup stuff, which will have two parts, so.